Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Chanel Angelina and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys my weeks 15 through 16 pregnancy update. So I did not film a week 15 pregnancy update just because I didn't really feel like there was that much to update you guys on. Um, there were no new symptoms that I had to report to you guys, so I just wanted to combine the two. By the time you guys are seeing this, I will be 17 weeks. Friday, each Friday I turn a new week, so this Friday I will be 17 weeks pregnant, so that's why I'm going to be giving you guys everything that happened within the past two weeks weeks 15 through 16 not to mention I have been so busy with my daughter's birthday party I think I mentioned that in my last pregnancy update video um, she just turned two years old if you guys not have not seen that video definitely go watch it I posted her birthday vlog on my channel and it was honestly such a magical day for her and it just made me so happy to see her so happy so definitely go check out that video if you guys have not already um, for those of you guys who are new here I have a two-year-old daughter like I just mentioned and I'm currently almost 17 weeks pregnant with baby number two I don't know the sex of the baby yet a lot of people have been asking me you know if I'm gonna find out the gender or when I'm gonna find out the gender of the baby since I'm already almost 17 weeks um, I'm almost halfway through my pregnancy and I still don't know there are a lot of women who find out right as soon as they possibly can and for me it just wasn't like I don't know like a priority to find out the gender I don't know if that sounds bad or not or if that's the right word that I want to use but it just honestly wasn't on the top of my to-do list like these past few weeks I mean would I like to know the gender yeah but I want to do it in a special way and I really want to remember like everything that happens in this pregnancy because this will be my last pregnancy I don't know I just don't feel like the urge to find out like right this second that could change though so yeah let's just go ahead and jump right into all of my symptoms cravings and you guys will see my little bump date at the end and see how much I've grown <laughs> since my last pregnancy update I wrote down that I'm getting or that my back is hurting so I guess I was starting to get back pain. Um, I don't really have back pain anymore, so maybe that was just like a day or two that it lasted, but I did notice a little bit of back pain. I don't have it right now, so I can't really speak about it, but um, I don't know if that was just like growing pains or what, but as of right now, I don't have any back pains. Knock on wood, because back pain is the worst. Okay, so just in these past few weeks, my appetite has really, really increased. So I know that the baby is growing because at night I've noticed that I have to have like a second dinner for sure or if not a second lunch. I'm definitely increasing my meal intake and my calorie intake per day and I can feel myself just putting on a little bit of weight, which is good. And I'm finally gaining weight, so I'm so excited for that because that's good and that's what I want this past week I want to say week and a half um, I got a really weird rash on the back of my hands and I don't know if you guys can see that if it's like focused or not but it's starting to go away but I have no idea what it's from um, you know I went on Google and WebMD and of course I'm like dying some of my friends are like oh you have to be careful because it could be like a measles outbreak or something like that and I don't think that's it because I'm pretty sure that I have been vaccinated for all of that um, and I don't have any other symptoms besides just the rash on the back of the hands so on my right hand it's like barely there it's like a few little bumps but on this one it was like covered with little tiny bumps and they were so itchy it was like and it's just in like this like one little patch right here nowhere else on my body or anything so it was just like a patch of itchy like bumps on the back of my hand and I would just scratch it scratch it scratch it and to be honest I don't have any like hydrocortisone cream or any anti-itch cream or anything so I really didn't put anything on it I went over to Adam's house um, like a week ago and he gave me some like hydrocortisone cream that he had and that helped a little bit but not really because it was still itchy after that. I did and I know this is going to sound like a total ad right now and it's really not I promise you. I did use this Rejuvenique oil so this 
stuff is like liquid gold. I sell this stuff. It's called Monet and it's supposed to be for your hair. So anyways, I didn't have any anti-itch products in my household. So I was like, oh my God, this is so itchy. What can I use that will hopefully take away the itch? So I was like, I just remember that this has like 101 uses supposedly um i've only ever used it on my hair prior to using it on the back of my hand for my rash but i was like what do i have to lose like my rash was so intensely itchy that i just like really wanted relief so i put two drops of this stuff on the back of my hands and immediately i just found like relief within i want to say like 10 to 15 minutes like there was no more itch and now the rash has completely like dried up after using it for like the past three days three or four days like research the ingredients and there is like carrot seed oil in here which i think has like an anti-inflammatory property in it so maybe that's what helped it i have no idea but um like i said i do sell this so i'll leave the link to this in my description box i'll have like the link to my website of where you can buy this if you know you've tried every like hydrocortisone cream and nothing has worked and you are desperate <laughs> like I was um, definitely I would highly suggest this stuff um, I know it sounds weird because it's supposed to be for your hair but just try it out trust me it this like really works so I wrote down that I still don't feel pregnant which is so true like I think once I start to feel the baby kick um, is when it'll like reality will probably hit me because I just forget that I'm pregnant like 99% of the time and I'm pretty sure I said that in my last update video but it's so true like unless someone asks me or I look down at my belly or I'm hungry then I totally forget that I'm pregnant and I think it is just because I'm so busy with Harlow on a day-to-day -day basis to where I just forget like I know that sounds so bad but it's so true and it's so funny because I used to watch those like um, I had no idea I was pregnant and then these women would like give birth and they had no idea that they were even pregnant and I was like how is that humanly possible to not know that you're pregnant but now that I am pregnant and like I've gone through this is my second pregnancy I know what those women are talking about now because it's like you really like unless you feel your baby kick um, you don't feel pregnant at all well at least I don't so yeah this past week week and a half i've had extreme nipple sensitivity and like just don't come near my boobs <laughs> i just had really bad like boob achage and like just they just hurt really bad and they've been ultra sensitive like even when i brush up like my bra against my nipples like it seriously hurts so freaking bad so that's like another symptom that i've had this is gonna sound kind of weird but i've been really drawn to like more boy colors and like more boy things um and i also just feel a lot more chill this pregnancy i don't feel as like uptight or like as nervous or anything i feel like just really chill <laughs> just i've been like really drawn towards like boy things so i don't know if that's like a hint or a clue or what but that's just what i've been feeling so i don't know obviously i would be happy either way if it's a boy or a girl like honestly i really like i don't care i think that that's why like i don't need to find out the gender like right this second because it's like i don't care either way it really doesn't matter to me if i have a boy or a girl and like I don't know like it would be cool both ways like it would be cool to have a boy because then I would know what it would be like to have a boy and a girl but then it would be cool to have a girl because then I'd have two girls and Harlow would have like a little best friend and it would be so cute so I don't know it doesn't matter to me what the gender is and I guess I'll just find out when I find out okay so I don't know if you guys have noticed at all but my skin has cleared up so much since I first announced that I was pregnant again um, I've been taking really good care of my skin if you guys want a skincare routine video I can definitely make that video for you guys just let me know in the comments down below but my skin has really cleared up a lot I was like breaking out in the first trimester so severely I had cystic acne I had all of my acne just came back and this trimester my face is just completely 
clear I feel like um, knock on wood watch after I say that now I'm probably gonna break out in a pimple but um, so far my skin has like really cleared up and I think it's definitely a mixture of like my hormones finally balancing out also diet like I don't I haven't drank whole milk since I last broke out in that cystic acne because I feel like that had a lot to do with it although I am still eating ice cream so it's just like weird I don't know I can't drink whole milk but I can eat ice cream and not break out in that cystic acne so I have no idea maybe it was just a first trimester thing I don't know but um, that and the mixture of like really taking care of my skin day and night and making sure it's like moisturized and I am using a benzoyl peroxide ointment probably once a day so I don't over I don't excessively use the benzoyl peroxide just because I know it's not like ideal for you to put any like products that are not natural onto your skin so I try to minimize that as much as possible but at the same time it's like I don't want acne so gotta weigh your pros and your cons I'll just give you guys the lowdown on all of my cravings lately so this week I craved loaded baked potatoes which I got and I made to Trader Joe's I bought a few like just regular brown baked baked potatoes um i cooked them in the in the oven um i put sour cream butter broccoli and cheese cheddar cheese on them and it's so freaking good like that like just a really good loaded baked potato i know people some people like bacon bits on their food and stuff or their baked potatoes but i don't really care for bacon unless it's um during breakfast but yeah anyways so i did the whole loaded baked potato thing that was like my jam i want to say through my 15th week of pregnancy and then lately I've been craving pizookies so I'm pretty pizookied out so I made Nestle Toll House chocolate chip cookies just pop those suckers right in the oven and then I would um, put that at the bottom of a bowl and then have chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream on top of that and that has been my jam for like this past week I've been eating that every single night while I edit my videos or while I'm watching YouTube videos so yeah I am obsessed with that oh my gosh I have been craving vanilla coke like crazy so this pregnancy I don't know why I'm so obsessed with soda I know I've mentioned that previously in my other like updates but um yeah I'm really obsessed with soda and vanilla coke has just been my go-to soda so I will have one caffeine beverage once a day that's my limit for myself and then after that I drink water okay and the last craving that I'm going to talk about is yesterday I had the biggest craving for chicken pineapple tacos I was craving those so bad so freaking bad to the point where I was googling it and for like an hour I loaded up Harlow in the in the car and I just started googling where can I find these chicken pineapple tacos like I had to have that like I just wanted teriyaki chicken pineapple tacos I had to have it so I was googling and googling and finally I texted my friend Megan because I don't know she knows like my taste in food so I texted my friend Megan and she told me that Yard House has these tropical chicken tacos oh my god so i i literally loved me and harlow all the way to yard house in costa mesa and i got the tropical chicken tacos with a side of sour cream best decision of my life <laughs> those were the best tacos i have ever had if that sounds good to you that's where they're at they're at yard house they're the tropical chicken tacos i believe they are brand new on the menu so i highly recommend those they were like it just completely satisfied my craving and i only had two of them but that's all I needed so I definitely recommend those and that was a huge craving that was satisfied thank God and thank you Megan so today I actually went to the genetic testing center to get my second trimester blood work done so I haven't heard anything from my doctor's office about um, my first trimester blood draw so I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow with my OB so I am gonna find out then um, what the results of that were so I will definitely let you guys know everything that happens in that appointment on my next pregnancy update as far as today I got blood drawn um, for my second trimester um, update or my second trimester blood work so I got that done and then they actually weighed me at the genetic testing center and I weigh 107.2 pounds which yay hallelujah I'm finally gaining weight um, I'm pretty sure I started this pregnancy at 
either 103 or 104 pounds so i've gained a few pounds since then thank god i'm finally starting to gain weight i like gaining weight i like putting on a little bit of meat onto my bones like i like that look i don't know i just that's my personal preference i don't like being so stick thin um yeah i have like little little curves here and there but um i just like the look of a little bit fuller like more curvy body so i want to gain weight and i want to gain weight especially for the babies because i know that the baby's growing and i need to be eating as much as i possibly can so that's just what i've been trying to do and focus on is just really like packing on the pounds for this baby this time around so yeah i think that's pretty much all that i had to let you guys know as far as my symptoms and updates go so now i will show you guys my little bump date and it is getting bigger and um i haven't really eaten that much today i think i had like a starbucks and a starbucks sandwich so it's probably not gonna look the biggest but um it's definitely growing and yeah so let's just show you guys my bump. all right so sorry if there's like a line for my pants but um this is my almost 17 week pregnancy belly so week 15 and 16 pregnancy belly so he or she is getting a lot bigger <sighs> uh, man it's weird like I can't tell which way I'm carrying I can't some days I feel like I'm carrying a little bit lower some days I feel like I'm carrying the way that I did with Harlow but I really can't tell you guys but this is my baby growing so this is the first ever gift for the second baby like I haven't even purchased anything for the second baby yet I know I'm so like late but um, my friend Heather was so sweet and she actually got me these Aiden and Anai swaddles for the baby. So I absolutely adore Aiden and Anai. I love like the fabric. These are such high quality swaddles and they're breathable too. So it's not going to make the baby overly hot. Um, and yeah, I just thought that these were so cute. They have like these multicolored polka dot ones. Um, and then these ones have little strawberries and like the letters on them and then this like banana swaddle was so cute so i'm so excited and so grateful that my friend heather got me these um so thank you heather that was so sweet of you to get the first gift for my second child that was everything that i had to let you guys know for my weeks 15 and 16 pregnancy update i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please do not forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel it would honestly mean the world to me if you did please 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 make sure your bell notifications are turned on that way you guys don't miss out on any of my future update videos or any of my future videos and i think that's pretty much all i had to say with all of that being said i will see you guys in my next video bye guys